Hi everyone, I'm Russ. I'm uh, Mark. And this is a Spirited Endeavor. Priming the Pump Edition. Yes. All right, so uh, we're going to do this. Well, it's a new year. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we thought we'd try some new whiskeys. Yeah. Uh, the ones that we re uh, recently picked up or uh, in one case has been sent to us. Yes. So, uh, yeah, we're really, really excited tonight. So we're going to do uh, three new ones on three separate Priming the Pump episodes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to do uh, everything out west today. Yeah. So these are all bourbons, and they're all um, from western states. Yes. So Colorado, Nevada, California. And we've had some really good luck with some of these distilleries, and some of them are new to us. So it's going to be a really interesting, uh, interesting time. Yeah, really, for sure. So the uh, first one up tonight is going to be the uh, the smoke wagon. Now um, I haven't even really looked at this one yet today, so. Uh, uh, this one is uh, out of Las Vegas, 56.25% um, ABV, Oof. so it's pretty pretty stout. Uh, it's a straight bourbon whiskey, um, and uh, out of Nevada. Yeah. Uh, now, so, somebody once recommended this to me. Apparently, uh, it's getting really high marks with some of the others, uh, but I really don't know much about it outside of the fact that I've seen it on the shelf and it's been recommended. Yeah. Now, uh, when I picked it, uh, when I picked this one up from my local liquor store. You know, they were they actually had some pretty good things to say about this mm -hmm. one that we would not be disappointed in it. So uh, let's see here. So barrels are first uh, hand selected from the top two floors of the warehouse to create a bourbon that has rich, um, that has flavor which is smooth and rich beyond its years. And then they are expertly blended, creating a delicate balance of rye spice, sweet notes of corn, and toasted oak and caramel. Mm. So so the up, the upper level of the uh, the Rick House. So that that would make sense because I mean, especially in Las Vegas, I mean you're oh, it's you gonna get, be warmer it's there. It's gonna get the hot, but you're gonna get the cold. It's a desert. Yeah. So um, that probably has imparted a lot of flavor into this one. I would think so. Yeah, the additional heat from being high up in the Rick House, plus given their climate to begin with, I would think uh, flavor is imparted quickly. Now I will say it's not quite as dark as I had anticipated. Makes me wonder if perhaps it's a bit younger as a result of. The, uh, I the think climate. This is two, age two years. Okay, that would make sense then. I thought I saw that. Um, I don't know. We're going to go with that. Yeah. Well, the big question is is it tasty? Well, yeah, it's it's a lighter um, whiskey, but I mean, man, it great oils. Oh, good oils in that. Yeah, definitely coats the glass. Hmm. Kind okay. Of a, kind of a typical bourbon nose. Yeah. Corn forward mash bill. I yep. mean, to be expected. Yeah. Caramel, a little, a little dusty corn. Definitely a little bit of rye around the edges. Though. Yeah. You get a little bit of that herbal uh, yep. note. Yeah. Pleasant. Yeah, for sure. A um, little bit of, little bit of a fruit note. Something like a, maybe like a little zest, like a little citrus zest. And there are some nice vapors to it. It's not, you know abrupt or smacking you around but definitely yeah. present what i'm not getting in this is that cherry note uh yeah definitely it's... not getting that on the nose hmm all right well shall we cheers cheers oh oh that's I nice like that. i like that a lot Oof. so um right on the Ooh. tip of the tongue it's actually kind of sweet you know right up front and uh and then as um you know as it's moving back further in my palate, I'm getting a little bit of I'm getting a little spice around the sides, but it hits you with a really beautiful caramel note, right up in the middle. Hmm. And then um and then you know I'm getting a little bit of that herbalness from the rye. Yeah. Wow. First sip was really nice. The barrel spice was right there, got right on the side of the tongue, and then of course on the. Uh, when I swallowed it, uh, nice strong caramel. The ABV isn't as forward on this one as I expected, given the number. And then when I go back for a second sip, it's actually a really mild whiskey. But once you acclimate to the spice, it's just smooth. Yeah, it is smooth. Um, wow. That is really, really nice. That is an easy sipper. Yeah, that's one you could get in trouble with. Yeah, I think so. Because I don't think you're going to realize how much ABV is actually in this. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, because at 46%, you know, it, that's no slouch. 
And I gotta say, going back, I keep getting the caramel. I still get a little bit of the barrel spice, but not with the same impact that I had initially. Mm. Um, it is a, it's a corn forward mash bill. I mean, it, it's what you would expect. The corn is the, uh, the star of the show, uh, the sweetness that that brings. The, uh, the caramel and the vanilla from the barrels definitely present. The barrel spice is not as obtrusive as I thought. I would guess that's because of the two year age statement. Mm -hmm. So I think I'd have to agree with them. While I got flavor from the barrel, I didn't get that wallop that oftentimes you get with a four year, five year, so on and so forth bourbon. Yeah, yeah, um, hmm. for sure. It, I mean, it does have a nice oakiness to it. Yeah. You know, it's, I mean, it's present. It's, um, it's delightful. I mean, it, and it comes off, off as like a warmth in the spice. It's not, right. you know, it's not hot. It's not like chili pepper. It's yeah, more it's not like, a bite. Yeah, it's more like cinnamon and, mm -hmm. you know, nutmeg and clove and that kind of, that kind of spice range. Yeah. Wow, that's a, I'm a little surprised. I was expecting mm -hmm. a bit of a slap upside the head. And uh, this has turned out to be quite the opposite. That is really, really delicious. Yeah, that kind of thing. Though. Yeah, no kidding. Um, hmm. I'm not seeing the, an age statement on this. Well, given the color and given the climate, I think, yeah, two years is probably yeah, I, I pretty legit. Yeah. yeah, there's there's no age statement on it. Regardless, I dig that. Yeah. I'm, I'm not normally a huge fan of just straight up corn mash bills in there. Fortunately, there's a little bit more going on. Now, I was, will say on the palate, the rye didn't present as much as I perhaps would have liked. Mm -hmm. um, I could have <clears> used a little bit more from the rye, but uh, I, for a corn forward mash bill, I really like this. Yeah, for sure. Now, it's got a little drying nature on the uh, on the back end, you know, kind of getting that little black yeah. tea, you know, um, dryness to it. Mm -hmm. But it's not unpleasant here. It's not no. tannic. It's, uh, you know, it, it just seems to just fade off into the sunset. Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, it's really nice. That's pleasant. All right. So uh, one to five. What are your thoughts? I'm going to go three and a half on this one. I'm kind of with you. I'm I'm really in that three and a half. I think it is a solid, solid whiskey. Yeah. I think it could amp up the flavor just a little bit more. Yeah, I agree. But all the flavors in there are well put together. Yeah, if you're, this is one, again, you know, like you said, you could get in trouble with this. It is smooth, and we don't normally use that term, but it describes this whiskey perfectly. You could just sip on this and find yourself under the table in no time. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but really nice whiskey. Very, very pleasantly surprised on this one. Yeah, really excited. All right, this is a great one. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. All right, we sure enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.